had a six inch jack plate on the boat that separates the engine from the. Okay. Yeah. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you? Good. Can I help you with anything? All right. Sorry about that. Yeah. No. And uh, next thing you know, I'm like, it doesn't fit. I had to take the jack plate off. But oh well, I got the boat inside, so it doesn't sit in the sun constantly. Perfect. Okay. We are here with Trevor once again. Been a year nice with Malibu you, boats. Marcus. Absolutely. So, uh, what do you guys have lined up for the 2012 season? Well, here we have the. Uh, the axis 20 foot. Okay. Nothing really has changed. There's, they added some more speakers in the back here. They changed okay. up the colors a little bit. Okay, the colors have changed up. Yeah. Yeah. And basically, it's the same boat as last year. They're just trying to keep it entry level, simple. The simple. Kiss principle, keep it simple, stupid. There you go. How there about you go. Uh, horsepower wise? Horsepower wise, they have the 335 engine in here, 335 okay. horsepower from Inmar. And you will soon not be able to get that engine so if you want you know save some bucks on the boat get okay. it now all right okay so this is your entry level boat moving up we have malibu has the wake setter which is this one it's the uh, yes the vlx the 21 foot okay 21 yeah and this boat is pretty decked out we have tower speakers with the lights we have metal flake gel coat red it looks really good you got to get a shot on the on the okay, side yeah there. yeah i see that right yeah. on and Wake setters come standard with the touch screens, the keyless ignition, and they have the Malibu dash, which is a, an added option. This boat has the subwoofer, speaker system, six speakers, and two battery setup, snap out carpet with all fiberglass floor, so easy to clean. Don't snap out carpet, okay, yeah. yeah. Don't have to worry about all the mildew and mold growing under your seats. Yeah. yeah. You know, water sports boat, they always get soaking wet. Yeah. Tower mirror mirror that comes off the tower we can see that on another boat okay it's not yeah put on this one yeah. board racks the top the top of the board rack fits the surf wake surf uh -huh. so you don't have to buy a separate set of racks for wake surfing okay yeah yeah that's that's all there is for this boat not much has changed not much has changed on this one okay stepping over to this one what are we looking at here we're looking at our 2012 vtx with okay. uh, a very bright green color that's nice Add some life to the booth. Absolutely. It looks yeah. like, you know, back into the Corolla colors, you know, the, the greens, the yellows, the reds. Yep. Yeah. Pretty hot. Yeah. So anyways, it's 20 foot. A lot of space inside this boat for the side, for being 20 feet. You get a lot of comments on that. Malibu's actually taken, they've created a cab forward design where they move the helm forward in the boat where the other competitors are further back. So it opens up everything in the back here in the cockpit. Okay just creates a bigger social area so you can hang out, have some fun. Not much really has changed and, on that. Well, how about the horsepower? Let's, can we have a look at the back end? Yeah, we can take a look at that. Let's look at it. Off come the shoes, let's get in it. Oh, hold on. All right. All right, so now we've got, we open the hatches here. Holy, all right, wasn't ready for that. <laughs> take out the towel warmer tray. Yeah. And here we have the Monsoon 350 engine. 350 horsepower, catalyzed because of the new EPA standards. Okay. Everything has to be catalyzed now. Safer, quieter, a lot more power. So then we're looking at, we have the table, which comes standard in every Malibu. Okay. We have a lot of the storage. If, believe it or not, if you look down in here, there's 500 pounds of ballast in the back of this boat. You wouldn't even know it. Holy moly. You can fit a cottage in here. <laughs> no kidding. That's huge. And a couple little pockets up here to put your gloves, ropes, whatever you want. Yeah. And same with the touch screen as well, cockpit wise. Yeah, nothing. All wake setters come standard with the touch screen. The Malaview, again, is an upgraded option. It's uh -huh. the same boat, just different length as the VLX. Okay, yeah. Pop and out that carpets. Yeah. Pop out carpet with the, the fancy wake setter logo right in the center there. Yeah. It tricks it out a little bit. So. That's the main thing about this 20 foot boat is you can you sit in here and relax and there's, yeah. there's still a lot of room to hang out. The captain's seat swivels around so you can join everybody. Yeah, sit down. You <laughs> should. There's a lever right here. Spin. There we go. How captain's in the party. If, if it's just right, maybe I should uh, bring one of these home. I don't know what my wife would say. However, one thing I did notice though, the lights, a little bit of the lighting there, that, that little wake setter portion just kind of adds a little touch to it yeah what Cups they have here for the courtesy lights is they have the wake setter 
This is a bezel with wake setter laser cut out of there. Yeah. So with the red light in behind to illuminate it, and then they have the clear LED light that shines down on the cup holders. And with the being stainless steel, it just brightens it up. Yeah, it brightens it up and gives it that little bit of extra class. Love it. Sharpness, absolutely. Looks good. Let's move on. All right. Throw this back on there so we can get it. You're okay. Sorry. Okay, what do we got here? Here we're moving into Malibu's LSV, the 23 foot wake setter. Once again, nothing much has changed except for the length. Okay. Same so, engine, the 350? Yeah, same engine, the 350. This boat, you can get up to the 555 horsepower. That's the supercharged engine that Malibu offers from Inmar. A supercharged engine. Supercharged. Sweet. It's pretty bad. Good lord. I love it. Now, if you take a look at the tower mirror on this one, this is the same setup that was on the VLX, but this actually has the mirror on okay, yeah. the boat. So you yeah. can take a look at it. Pretty handy, keeps it up out of the way, saves me from drilling holes in the dash mounting the uh, standard mirror that comes on every boat. And, and for it, an audio system, I'm just... Thinking. Audio system, Rockford Fosgate. Okay. Five and a quarter round speakers all through the boat. This has a six speaker package. You can get an eight speaker package in this boat. You can make this thing rock. <laughs> with a 12 inch subwoofer and a 400 watt amp power and just a subwoofer alone so it, it, it really gets pounded. Good golly molly. Oh yeah and again with the fiberglass wet tech flooring keeps everything nice and dry and mold and mildew free. Very important. All right so now we're moving over here into our brand new for this year 2012 the MX Ed. It's a okay. 22 foot boat it's taken the Axis inspired pickle fork design which you can see up on the on the lift there. All right, we'll get to that, definitely. We'll get yep. to that. Also, what they've done, we'll step into the bow here. All right. My God. What up? Now, what Malibu, what Malibu has created here is they've created three different social zones. The bow is rated for four people. Yeah. So you can get in here, hang out. We have two six inch round speakers up in the bow so you get a lot of music pumping out of here yeah. you have a ladder that comes off the front so you can climb out of the water after you dive off the front you know have some fun let's have a look at that just lift the hatch ladder slides out slides out Right into go. the water. And then when you close the lid, you have the non-skid platform, so you safely enter the boat when you're all wet. Very smart. Yeah, it's a pretty handy thing. And there's an option where if you don't get a ladder, it becomes an anchor storage. Okay, yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's move into the cockpit here. All right, as you come through the walkthrough, you have two pockets on either side, which is in every wake setter, and there's speakers in there. So again, adding more sound to the boat. Okay, yeah. So what they've done here is they've actually created the second social zone. Yeah. They've shrunk the cockpit a little bit, and we'll get to that later why they've done that. So you have four of the six inch round speakers right there, along with your bigger bezels for the wake setters cut out. Yeah. They're much bigger than what you saw in the, yeah, other, yeah, yeah. In the other boat. Lots of cup holders. You can hold whatever flavor you choose. <laughs> the flavor is important, yeah. Yeah. So now we have the uh, the counterbalance steering wheel, which makes it one finger steering. You're going down the lake 40 miles an hour, one finger, and you can whip it right around. Okay. Again, with the touch screen and the mile view, digital gauges, heated seats. You can get a heated driver's seat in this. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's wild. How about ballast-wise? How much can water can this thing put in? 1,500 pounds. This boat in particular, because we have the bow ballast, yeah. it comes standard with three hard tanks in the boat, which is 1,200 pounds. There and abouts. It depends on the size of the boat. Okay. All right. So we've talked about zone one, zone two, zone three. Back of the boat. All right. Back of the boat. And here we are in the social zone number three. Uh-huh. 
This seating is inspired by the, well, the Malibu Wake Setter 247. They have a transom seating. And it's really nice because if you open it up, you have a nice little cooler. So if you're hanging out at the beach, yeah. you know, you want to throw some ice, throw some drinks in, some fruit, sandwiches, whatever you want. And they pop out. So you can dunk them in the water, easy cleaning. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Smart, smart. And you have the, uh, the hard walkthrough right here. Yeah. It saves your upholstery from climbing over top. And with a non-skid surface as well. Non-skid surface. Now, if you take a seat there, how would you feel about putting your wakeboard on while sitting on that? Nice. Yeah. Definitely. A little lower, so you can reach down a little yeah. nicer. Absolutely. And the fin saver design platform, where the center is raised up, the sides are dipped down a bit, so you take a little, a little more weight off your fins, you're less likely to snap them. Okay. Well, we've looked on the inside. Let's go look on the underside of it. Okay. So this is where things have really changed for okay. this year. Yeah. They had to create a, an all new mold. We basically had to create a whole new boat, basically. They never had a 22 foot design before. So what they've done, they've taken their technology from all their other wake setters, stretched it out a bit, put the pickle fork design in the boat. Yeah. And as you can see, you have your docking lights down on the front there. That's one thing we couldn't see from the inside, the front, yeah, the docking yeah, lights, yeah. yeah. So they basically just widen the boat out. Yeah. You get a lot of people inside this thing. And this is the nice touch that I really like. And I wish Malibu, if they're watching this, they need to put a light inside that 22 MXZ. That would look oh, cool. Add that a little on the outside, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that would look really sweet. But anyways, that's the touch that I really like. The classic, they call it the, the swoosh, Nike. The check mark design. Okay, yeah. Right in the side of the boat. And they've added the nice stainless steel bezel right in there with the 22 MXZ. Okay. Kind of sets it apart from the rest of the wake setters that they have. And now we're walking back here. You see the underside of the boat with the gorilla fins? They don't come like this. I've taken the time to polish them up just for show. Okay. You know, bling it up a bit. Bling it up. We yeah. want to show off this new the bling boat, factor. right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And we're coming back here underneath the boat and you see your prop shaft, your propeller, your rudder, which is big, it's yeah. massive, it can control that boat and keep control of it. And now, what I've done for the show is I've taken this power wedge, the saving trying to explain what it does and I'll just show you what it does. When you're traveling with your boat, just cruising down the lake, you have it in the all the way up position. Okay. No water touches it, does not slow your boat down, just sits there, chills. So when you're wakeboarding or you're wake surfing, yeah. you move it into the down position. Oh, oh, wait cool a second. That. And that's all the way down. So basically what it does is it takes the water, and it's like holding your hand out the car window, you know, it wants to push it down. That's the basic idea. So see, yeah. you're pulling the boat into the water, you're displacing more water, bigger wave. But the beauty of this is when you move it to a different position, up or down, it has a certain operating range, somewhere about there, yep. and it actually shapes the wake. So if you're wake surfing and you play with the wedge, you can get that wake perfect just the way you want. Or if you're wakeboarding, you can make it really steep or you can make it really mellow. Some people like depends to Depends on the rider. Yeah, it depends on the rider. You, maybe you want a pop, maybe you just want a launch. Depends on what you want. Very cool. Very customizable. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And Malibu offers, on their digital dash, they offer an auto wedge. Basically what that is, okay. is when, when you're going along with the boat, right? Yeah. And you're coming down off plane, in order to aid the boat in getting up on plane, because if you're fully loaded with the wedge, it's a bit hard, right? Yeah. So what auto wedge does is it automatically takes the wedge, puts it to the down position, and then when you get to about 80% of your target speed, say you set it at 20, 22 miles an hour, yeah. and you reach 18, then the wedge will automatically go back to where you had set it. Right on. So it helps you get up on plane faster. Yeah. You know, you don't want to drag the rider through the water. Well, exactly, yeah. Yeah, it hurts. So there you go. That's the power wedge of the Malibu. Neat. Okay, and you have one more last boat out here. A couple of small changes you were saying? Yeah, yeah. So... We're moving over to our response series. Mm -hmm. What they've done is they've taken the LXI hull, yeah. which was a great boat, and they've modified it a little bit. Okay. 
there were some concerns with the water spray for short line skiers. All right. You know, riding at 32 off there and about, it was getting up in their face. So what they did is they changed some angles on the strakes and the chines on the bottom of the boat, uh -huh. and they've softened the wake out to get the boat up out of the water a little better, get rid of the spray, get rid of some of the complaints. You can't make everybody happy, but they're really trying to listen to who's to talking the to them. Yeah, yeah exactly. they're really customer base. Exactly. You want to sell your boat? You want to make the best boat? You got to listen to the people that ride behind That's it, right? right? No kidding. So basically, it's the LXI deck. Nothing changed on the deck of the boat. Mm -hmm. The seating arrangement, the accessories, everything is the same as the LXI. It comes standard with the touchscreen, too. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so it's it's up there with the Wake Setter series, except it's a tournament ski boat. Well, not as tournament as the LX, but yeah. it's a more family-oriented version. Family -oriented. Yeah. Right on. And what they did with the windshield. Okay. There was a lot of concerns with the pillar, which you see on the windshield of the Wake Setter series. Uh huh. And it was creating a blind spot. You're already low in the water and the windshield was really low and they had a blind spot right there. So what they did was they went back to their old windshield design, but they, they raised it up. Uh -huh. They gave you a little more height to the top bar. You could see through and they got rid of the pillar and voila. Voila. People thinking. People thinking. Listen to their customers. Yeah. Right on. Well, Trevor, All right, from Marcus, Malibu, thank you very much. From, uh, your Malibu time Boots at the by. 2012 Boat Show. Yeah, and I uh, hope you have a great show. We've had a great show so far, and we're going to have an even better show. We still have was eight more days. Eight more days. It's a long haul, like man. Yeah. Right on. All right. Excellent. Thanks, Trevor. All right, Marcus. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. You're a classic.